muddy X3s. So today is an interesting day. So we're gonna try two techniques. A technique I learned uh, from a guy down south named Cletus McFarland. Rides a lot of mud. Never heard of him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who he is. And then Rick's gonna try a uh, automotive soap on his. So for mine, uh, we're basically the same X3, right? Both 2019s, both dark colored. Just went on the same trail ride, so basically the same mud on them. With mine, I'm gonna try a deep soak with a water and simple green mix. About a third simple green, two thirds water. And then Rick's gonna try what? Um, I'm just gonna hit mine with some you know, high pressure water first, and then I'm gonna pour the automotive soap uh, into the power washer. I'm gonna hit it with a soap, let it soak for a little bit, scrub it down, rinse it off. We might even have a foam cannon too, which might okay. come in handy. So yeah, we'll we figure out something there. That. Yeah, but with my technique, it's gonna be pretty much three steps. Spray on, let soak, rinse off, come in, wipe it down, rinse again, and then do like a jism step in the end. And I think okay. you're gonna do some little jizz in the end too, right? Uh, maybe, we'll see. Just to know. spruce it up, see what okay. happens. Yeah, give her a little extra elbow grease, maybe we'll see. All right, let's pull out these, uh, pull out the guns, man, and see see what happens. Let's do it. How you doing? Hey, Ricky, so what are you doing, buddy? So we got ourselves the 32 ounces of warm water, and we're gonna be using this Chemical Guys Tough Mudder Truck Wash Off-Road ATV Heavy Duty Soap. Dang. Rick Mav there, so I'm gonna add a few ounces of this. This says, one to three ounces if using a foam cannon. So we're gonna pour some of that in here. Perfect. Get this all set up. And then I think we're gonna start with yours and then work on mine once you're done soaking yours. Is that yep. the plan? Cool. Makes sense. Pour to her bud. Rick's going for the extra foam. Putting more to her. So you put the cap on her and then just kind of give her a little shiz ache. That's the plan. Mix her up all nice. And what kind of foam can is this? People always ask. It's a McKillen's? McKillen's. McKillen's foam can. They sent yeah. this to us after our last video, which got like seven billion views. So thank you for watching, if you watch that one. Anyway, shake the heck out of that. And then it's time for some simple green. Boys, so here we got one of these Home Depot, uh, it's like a garden sprayer. And so essentially you just build pressure with this pump, right? And then it gives you a uh, little squirt nozzle. So I like to really pour the coals to it, loosen up the squirt nozzle quite a bit, and just squirt the heck out of the whole machine. So and that's just simple green and water. Yeah, one third simple green, two thirds water. And just come in and spray it all down. And so it's really important to get in there real deep with this thing, engine, all that stuff, right? Any sort of oil you'll have. And then anywhere where the mud's real thick, like inside of the uh, bead of the wheel here, just kind of saturate her up real nice like tires too if you want and so uh, do the whole machine like this and then I'll just let it sit until it dries on the thinner body panels and come in with high pressure and spray it off copy We got the power washer out here, so this is nothing too crazy. We're gonna use a 25 degree tip. Um, 40 degrees missing. 40 degree would be ideal in most situations for a car or side by side. It's missing, can't use a tough brake. Using what we got. So that's gonna be the you know same thing we use between both of them, so a little bit of a control even if it's not ideal. But we're gonna be sticking to the 25 for everything. Yep, Just to so keep it consistent. Mine is soaking. Rick's gonna come in here, spray this thing off, and then come in with the uh, foam cannon. So that should yep. be fun. So right. what's your plan here? Kind of top to bottom? Yeah, probably start at the top and work my way around and probably finish off doing the, the inside and stuff. So focus on the areas where there's a lot of residue built up. Try and get as much of that um, gone as we can before putting the soap on there. Uh, once you get it soaked up, probably go grab a microfiber or something and start scrubbing the whole machine down. Well, let's spray the heck out of it, bud. Oh yeah, buddy. Spray the heck out of it. And so this particular power washer is unspecial. I think it's just one of like these Home Depot or Menard specials. 3,300 3, PSI, 2.4 gallons a minute. Nothing crazy. A lot of 
Simpson seats and we run Simpson seats in just about everything. A lot of you guys inquire about how they hold up, especially with materials like suede and kind of other exotic stuff. But you saw how blown out both of these were with all sorts of mud. Here we are, we're gonna hit them with the power washer. So we do this regularly, they hold up awesome. But you know, just so you guys can see, this is what we actually do. We don't take any more care with them than we do the stock seat. We're not saying, you know, hit them with 5,000 pounds of pressure, but any normal human being isn't going to destroy these. Send it. Well, the Ricks is sprayed off. I think you should have gone with a tighter nozzle, and I'm probably going to cheat and do that on mine, because when I've done this, I use the tighter nozzle. Anyway. Yeah, we're done with phase one on both of these now. Um, so what I'm going to go and do now is hook the foam cannon up to this, soak the whole machine, and uh, let it sit for, well, probably until I get around to doing the whole thing, and then I'm just going to start scrubbing with a microfiber or whatever I can find to clean this off with. And that's going to be my basically whole wash i'm gonna rinse it off after that call it a day i'm done nice so we'll see how that turns out still got a lot of like random surface dirt on it so we'll see how that stuff comes off mine of course is looking much worse but it does have simple green sort of embedded into the mud now so you'll notice uh, when i spray it off with the high pressure that all this soap is going to foam up that's stuck in the mud and everything should kind of come off so in the past when i've done this I used, I think it was a 15 degree nozzle. Let me look at the thing so I can be sure here. Uh, yeah, it was a 15 degree nozzle, which gives you a real tight stream and a lot more pressure. So unfortunately, I'm gonna cheat and do that because I know that worked for me in the past. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're just trying to see what works better, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go find that uh, microfibers to scrub this with. I'm gonna hit it with the foam. Let's do it. So Rick says if I'm cheating with the nozzle, he's cheating and using a bucket, which is fine. You don't want the car to dry off. What the hell happened over here, dude? You got some, got some spidey sense on the side the of that. The old wah with the soap, you know? Nothing wrong with that. That stuff has got some serious fluorescence going on. Yeah. But anyway, microfiber mitt should work pretty well. Mix that shizzle in. But yeah, I got the uh, foam cannon hooked up, so I'm excited oh. to see how that works out. Yo! Oh, yeah. So we've used the Zep wash in the past, which I think the Zep stuff does give a little more thick foam than this. But anyway, we're gonna have the time lapse here. What you're gonna see is Rick foaming this thing and rinsing it down, and then me high pressure washing that. So we'll see what happens. boys so you just saw rick give this thing a full freaking sponge bath how'd that turn out not bad um in an ideal situation you know you'd be able to rinse it off as you go and not have to worry about it drying obviously we only have one power washer out here so tough break on that some of the areas dried up i think it'll be fine just yep. gonna spray it off now and see how she looks not bad so mine uh, you saw i just did a rinse so i didn't do a hand wash on mine it was just the uh the soak and rinse and i think for a soak and rinse job it looks pretty darn good so I think there is a benefit to using the tighter nozzle. Sort of breaks up some of the uh, mud and stuff that's on the black plastic, which is typically super hard to get off, but it doesn't look too bad. So the last step that I'll do, which is after Rick's done with his, is uh, I'll cover it in this stuff. This is Zep Good Stuff. So this is a water-based silicone, whereas your other silicone stuff like SC1, whatever, is uh, typically based in some sort of solvent. And so that can actually have a bad long lasting effect on your black plastics. So that's why uh, a lot of places don't use that for interiors anymore. That's why you have like water-based stuff like, uh, what's that interior spray everybody uses, dude? Like the automotive stuff? Yeah. Armor all. Yeah, it's all water-based, that's why it's white. So stuff comes out white too, because it's uh, water-based. So anyway, when Rick's done rinsing his off, I'll uh, give this thing another rinse, because I'm assuming he's gonna get crap all over it. And then we'll come in with this while it's still partially wet, kind of like right now. Spray the whole thing down and then just uh, dry it with these microfibers. 
So get to it, Ricky. Got it. Got it. boys so Rick's just got done rinsing his off so I was looking at mine and I was thinking I'd have to rinse it again but honestly it looks okay so I think I'm just gonna move on to the uh, shine step so at this point Rick has gone in hand scrubbed soaped and rinsed it twice and I've just done one uh, sweep with the simple green and uh, done a regular sweep with the pressure washer so yeah. no scrubbing on yours right no scrubbing I haven't touched it no yeah that's that's impressive like that it looks good it looks really good i will say like the black plastics on mine even though they're a little bit wet on this side you can kind of see over here some of them are drying up a little bit better i think the soap that i used might bring out the gloss a little bit and the black plastics a little bit more than the simple green but for not having to do any labor on yours looks super good very impressed with that yeah man i was really happy with that uh tip that i got from completest and I think it worked out pretty well so obviously the windshield's ruined that was ruined before that happened in Glamis unfortunately so that wasn't a fault of the simple green but there's still spots like here where there's mud and got a little dirt that kind of runs out from under here you'll know if you have an x3 but for just a standard simple green and rinse off job I think it looks pretty good so like I said I'm gonna come in here with the uh, good stuff kind of give it just one final coat of that let it sit for a minute and then dry it off so there was some spots that I missed like in here or up here but the uh good stuff will take care of that yeah so what's your plan with this thing um i still gotta finish up the cushions and i might hit it with the old good stuff as well okay but you know this video obviously wasn't meant to say one product's better than another it's basically just to show you the results of doing something two different ways so yeah just techniques there's not really. a right or wrong product there's not a really right or wrong way between either way we did it um just two different approaches you guys can draw your own conclusions and we know that it's not 100 percent apples to apples comparison obviously we only have one power washer the soap on mine kind of dried up which was unfortunate and obviously the method we were rinsing with you were using a different nozzle um, than i was so two different ways i think they're both good i think they're both good products right overall you decide yeah you decide so these are just things that we've come across that have worked very well so uh yeah i guess from here you'll see rick drying and good stuff and you'll see me drying and good stuff in and we'll talk about uh how they look at the end sound good yep sounds good Clean, side by side, clean, side by side. So Rick, what do you think happened out here today? Well, we took a couple of dirty machines and we took them to a state where they're not as dirty. Pretty clean overall. Uh, the goal wasn't to make them 100% perfect or to make sure every crack and crevice was free of dust, debris, sand, whatever. Just wanted to get them you know, cleaned up looking Pretty good, nice five foot wash jobs, I like to call it. So. Yeah, I think we're about five foot away. The car looks pretty good. So I think up close, you know, it, the sediment is the same. So there are some weird scrapes on this car. It must be from branches or something. Yeah, just run into those things. Just basically Quite hit all the branches. Yeah, it's probably some orienteering stuff. But so yeah, it looks pretty good. Got the A arms done, got the doors done, got the interior popping. Let's see, how's the back look? Back looks pretty good. That's all good. Oh yeah, man, not too bad at all. So I think, for me personally, nothing can replace a hand wash. But if you're lazy, the old spray it down and spray it off is yeah, pretty simple, simple. The simple green was a, was a real game changer, eye opener for me. I'll be definitely adding that pump and 
some simple green spray to my arsenal for cleaning this thing up. Like, I, I mean, look at yours, it looks awesome for yeah. what little work you did to it. So. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So a little bit different technique. So I spray down the good stuff and let it sit for a while. And I think that allows for a little bit deeper shine than Rick's, but you know, both end up uh, looking pretty good at the end of the day. So yeah, both are pretty clean. Both are done up and this bad boy is going to Florida soon. So you guys are seeing that soon. But in my opinion, Simple Green, pretty hard to beat. So if you're looking for, again, in my opinion, the easiest way to wash your unit, I think that's what it is. Turned out great, man. That's a fact. So appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. And hopefully you can walk away with some conclusion of what you think might be better. Maybe you'll use one of the products we featured on this video. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll tell us, hey, you guys shouldn't be washing anything. Stick to riding. That's possible too. <laughs> That's a good point. But as you said, overall they turned out really good. And uh, if you guys like what you're seeing, this kind of oddball type stuff from this channel, please like, subscribe, tell your friends, and your family if you like your family. Boom. Until next time, brothers.